Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to <coughs> create a project where I'll show you how to access map elements uh, from a Spring configuration file. Uh, here we will use uh, a Spring expression language to access map elements. So here is the Eclipse. Let's go ahead and create a Java project. So right click over here, go to the new Java project. Here I'll give the project name a Spring EL. EL stands for expression language. A Spring EL accessing map. Click on the next. Finally, click on the next button. So here, right click over here and compiler version. I'm going to set seven. Now let's add a Spring jar in project class path. So select libraries, add libraries, uh, select user library and here is the Spring library. Click on the finish so finally ok. So a Spring later jars I have added in my class path. Now let's create a configuration file that is XML file. <coughs> Specify the name as beans.xml click on the finish here I have copied this talk type from my existing examples so, see here will just I have created this XML file at a point of time I'll configure some beans over here so before that let's create some Java class in package com dot infotech dot model I, I would keep the class name as telephone telephone directory accessor and this class has one property which is type of integer telephone number and create corresponding say targeter methods over here now uh, here let's configure bin So here first bin I am going to configure a map and ID here I am going to supply telephone directory. So I am going to specify ID as telephone directory first letter with a small. Here class name I am going to give java dot util dot hash map. You can take any map map is an interface implementer of maps like hash map linked hash map tree map any map you can take but here i have taken hash map one of the implementer of a map interface here inside this i'm going to use constructor based injections inside this you can have a to configure map we have a tag like map and map every element is called entry so entry is nothing but that is, that is key value pairs so entry and here you can specify key suppose kishan is the key and kishan's phone number is just specify some dummy phone number over here like this and another entry i'm going to specify suppose raj and his phone number is something like that. just dummy phone number now we have a bean which we had defined so configure this bean as well so bean class name is this is the qualified name 
an ID I'm going to specify as telephone ac telephone directory access and here we are going to use a uh, spring expression language so this class has a one property is called telephone number and this bin is called telephone directory this bin contains person name and corresponding telephone number so person name is nothing but the map key and phone is the corresponding value so here in value sections we are going to use a uh, spring expression language so has curly bracket open close within dash we are we will try to access the map elements so map is the id and inside this you will have to write a square bracket and within the square bracket we are going to pass the key just i would like to know what is the raj i mean kishan's phone number right so key you need to specify in single quote within this square bracket so this is the way to access a map element now almost we have configured xml file let's create a client program so let's specify the package name com dot infotech dot client and client class name is client test and this class will have a main method here let's create a abstract application context so abstract application context is an abstract class which extends oh sorry which implements uh, application context if you look into the <coughs> this class then this class does not implement <coughs> application context directly but see this class extends this class and this class implements few interfaces right and if you go to the this interface then finally this interface extends application context means abstract application context implicitly implements application context now new class path xml application context one of the implementer of application context here we are going to supply the spring configuration file name which is present in src folder and here context dot close method so we have to close the resource now application context has some api get bin so there are a lot of overloaded get bin method so one of this one i'm going to use sticks first parameter as the bin name bin name is nothing but the id of the bin so which is telephone directory accessor and second parameter you need to specify the class itself so this will return you telephone directory accessor object now here i'm going to write kishan's contact number which and here dot get phone number now let's run this application right click run as java application so we get we got an exception saying that for input this number format exception why so let me check out or input string is a number format exception if 
fail to convert property value of java.lang.sting to require java.lang.integer so here here you can specify type no type uh, if you have a constructor based dependency injection then you will have a type so <coughs> map both are a string and this is possible to convert a string to integer i think we went i mean uh, we went out of the integer range so that's why that was throwing an error now successfully we have retrieved the question's contact number so this way we can access map elements using a, a spring expression language so this is the way to access uh, maps elements uh, so here this is nothing but a map right it's a map and here you need to specify the key so that this this uh, string expression language will extract the value from the map and that will put into uh, this variable and this variable is type of integer so that's all i wanted to teach you in this video if you like my video then please like and subscribe it thank you for watching my video see you in next video tutorial